myself on this thing? Yeah, I can. Just barely. Okay. So that means there's probably going to be some zombie coming around this corner, right? No? Huh, surprising. Did I beat it? Or did it just run away? There's an oil fire down there already. Can't put it out with water. <coughs> we need to turn on the inhibitor, but it's leaking. You know why? We need a valve adapter like this one, except in one piece. <coughs> I think we can make one, though, quickly. Go look for metal bars there, in the corner. Right here, these metal bars? You got hurry up or we'll all suffocate. <laughs> Up and give it to me. I'll finish it myself. <laughs> get it, get it. Put it in, put it in. Do what you gotta do, man. So, as far as the length of this game, I feel like it's a little overdrawn. Um, I don't feel like they're giving us enough new information or, or new story bits uh, rapidly enough to keep us really interested. It, it's it's kind of getting a little bit of a monotonous pace as we go, you know, further into the late game. Uh, you know, it, it's pretty obvious at this point what happened. You know, they got stuck in the ice flows and just societal breakdown. They all killed each other, and I guess their ghosts are haunting each other now. Uh, so there's not really a mystery that's drawing us forward at this point, um, which I'd really like to see more of. 
Uh, part of the reason that Among the Sleep worked so well, I thought, was the fact that it didn't feel like it had to be over long. You know, um, it was a very short game, but it was effective for the story to tell it. I feel like uh, Cry of Stasis could benefit from the same narrative as economy. To the captain of nuclear icebreaker Northwind, upon cargo delivery, proceed to destination for temporary docking. Your ship will be subsequently decommissioned. Prepare all necessary paperwork. Hold up. To the sick bay. The sick bay. The sick bay is overcrowded. To the hallway then along the walls, quickly. <laughs> These flashbacks are the coolest we've seen in the game so far. These are really neat. Using this time freeze mechanic is a great, great opportunity for, uh... It's a great narrative technique for video games, particularly. Um... Just because it's one of the unique things that you can only do in a game, you know? actually freeze an environment and explore it. <laughs> they they do really run the risk of um, kind of feeling the same, you know. So it is easy to get turned around like that. Sorry about that. All right, doctor's area, right? Waiting room. That's one 
go through here. Here. This looks new. Now, even though I've criticized quite a few things about uh, the design of the game, um, I really like the fact that they are, these are, the cutscenes, as it were, are, are things that uh, we personally interact with. Um, instead of taking the control away, we actually move through these cutscenes ourselves. I think that's a, a, a really strong uh, direction to take. What's in here? I'm going to have to go through this door. What expectorants do we have? All right, get me some ampicillin and EDTA. How much? Whatever we've got, we might just need all of it. This is great. Doctor, look! Rinse the eyes, mouth, and nose with water. 